Okay, it's Don W6GPS and we got a pretty exciting little product here. Actually, it's, it's a project. Uh, this is the Diamond W8010. Uh, it is a 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter five band trap dipole antenna. I saw this at the Hamvention and I said, I gotta get me one of these. Uh, I have some limited space at my uh, backyard and I thought, hey, for 80 through 10 meters, uh, I'll be able to, uh, to uh, work the bands that I like. So first thing, first thing you need to do is read the instructions and look the instructions over so that you kind of get the big picture. Here's how it all lays out. And what I've done is I've assembled one half of the antenna so I can show you in different steps uh, kind of what to do so that uh, you don't make mistakes. So the first thing you do want to do is you do want to inventory inventory all the items and I squiggled out things that were not pertinent to the AD10 uh, dipole so that way uh, you're not confused so you're gonna have some you're gonna have some traps that look like this uh, you're gonna have some wires and what I've done is this is how the wires there they come uh, from diamond all nice and bound up so what I've done is I've loosen I'd take I'd open up these things to about maybe a foot or two just so you have some working room so open those up and then put a tie strap on it so that you don't have or the, the little twist tie so that you don't have wires strewn everywhere so you got all these wires uh, you're gonna have a um, a ballon right here and uh, some cord some cord like that and some insulators so go ahead and inventory all your items uh, make sure that you have everything that you need so other things you're going to need is a, a screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver of some sort and uh, I have a small uh, this is a, um, a six inch ruler it has metric on it and everything that I'm going to reference to will be in metric because it's just easier to to figure out versus uh, versus uh, calculating it from uh, inches to metric. And then you want to get a nut driver. This just happens to be the size that my uh, Apex uh, heads fit. And I believe it's a nine millimeter, but something to uh, adjust the screws here, or adjust the nuts to. By the way, the hardware's all stainless steel. And so make sure you have a nut driver that can accommodate uh, the nut. So, we've inventoried the uh, items, but I want to kind of give you the big picture here. Because you're going through the inventory and you're saying, what's this binding wire? So there's some, this little wire right here. This binding wire is going to be used in various places. And so right here, right here, I've already assembled one half, but you're going to be bind doing some binding. That's what that binding wire is all about. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is... You're gonna, this is gonna be a, a four element dipole. So it's gonna be what I call a V inverted V. So that uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this set up like this. So it's gonna be a V inverted V. And the uh, top portion of the V is gonna be a, the lower bands. The uh, bottom two, the bottom two bands uh, are gonna be on the bottom. Okay, that way you can get a, a little bit better uh, clearance from the, uh, the ground. So, with that in mind, uh, all these wires uh, have a, uh, a label on here like A, B, and C. And I've, like I said, I've already done one half, so I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna kinda show you this ahead of time so that you can kinda get the idea of what's going on. So we got the ballon. I've got an A wire and a D wire. Whatever you do, don't ever mix any of these wires up. So, so one side here I've already assembled A. Then you're going to go to a, um, a 40 or 7 megahertz uh, a coil. And then these are tuning wires. These tuning wires uh, come uh, just like this with a, a crimp terminal connector on there. And they're about maybe a foot long. So, you're going to have that. So 
um, 40 meter coil and then you're going to go to an 80 meter coil and at this, on the end of this 80 meter coil you're going to have 80 meter coil you're going to have a tuning thing a tuning stub and then at the end you're going to have an insulator and extra wire here to tune with so anyway that is that's how that kind of is the big picture and I do suggest you really study um, study the manual here especially this section right here and it shows all the layout so first thing you want to do is get your a wire which I've already uh, started it you get uh, the a wire and this is the end that's going to go to the uh, this is the end that's going to go to the ballon and I've already started it and what you do is is you, you're going to measure with a wire uh, you're going to measure 16 centimeters 16 centimeters 16 centimeters you're going to do a loop and it's going to wrap around uh, this this type of um, insulator right here now all these nuts are going to be loosened up there's going to be some play in here so I've already assembled uh, a the a wire goes right here to uh, 40 meters or a 7 megahertz coil and it's got a it's got a little tuning stub so the next thing I want to do now is I want to get the B wire the B wire and it's real important that you don't mix these up and uh, like I have a you know I have a whole table full of wires here and, and it can be kind of confusing so I got the B wire right here uh, I'm going to take my sharpie right here and I'm gonna measure 16 centimeters just so now I got this this ruler at uh, Ace Hardware so this is a uh, uh, 15 centimeters right here so just make you a little hash mark just like so so you have a little hash mark so you can see what's where this is going to go so when you get that marking right there wrap it around wrap it around this little insulator and you want to do it four turns nice and nice and tight one two three four you want to make sure that you have enough slack in there so that as tension is being pulled on here it's not going to pull the wire okay now I've already added the tuning stub on there so don't add another one so this is going uh, a tuning stub coil and then we're putting the uh, B wire on here so the B wire I've got it wrapped around the post I'm gonna take my nut driver and I'm gonna tighten that down and what happens is you wanna you wanna snug it but don't don't do the torque master and bust it because inside here is uh, the connection to the coil it comes up through here so you just want to snug it up just like so and you want to you want to uh, make sure that the tension is going to be, be pulling on this as you hang this uh, this uh, antenna so make sure that it's you give it kind of a pull here and snug it up put it on right like so get your uh, your lock nut and your nut on there your lock washer and your nut and tighten it on here just like so all right make sure all this stuff all this stuff is snug okay so when you come down here the next thing that you're gonna we're gonna put on here again look at your directions this is uh, again we're going we're going across here and so that's going to be the 80 meter coil okay or the 80 meter trap there's uh, two, two sets of instructions in here and this one right here kind of spells it out so 
It's a A wire, tuning wire, 40 meter trap, uh, the B wire, 80 meter trap, and a tuning wire attached. So, come right here. Again, measure uh, 16 centimeters. It's basically the length of this and just a tad more. So I put a little mark right on there just like that. And we get our uh, 80 meter coil. I would go ahead and loosen that up. Take the nut off. So we got it loosened right here. We got our mark. Our marks right here. Some people use tape. So then you take it right here, wrap it around. One, two, three, four. Again, verify that you have just a little bit of slack in here so that there's not tension being pulled on here. Give this a pull and tighten down the, uh, the clamp that holds the wire. It also makes a connection for the, for the trap. And again, you just turn that to it's real, real snug, but don't turn it so tight that you crack the, ins the insulation material right here. So you put that on here like so. Get you a tuning stub. A tuning stub, they're all the same size. Just a little tuning stub, just like this, just like that. Go ahead and put that on. Put the lock, the lock washer on, stainless steel nut. And the nut driver, so just snug that in there real good, just like that, okay? All right, so just repeat the process, repeat the process until you get everything organized for the, um, for the 40 and um, 80 meter um, element. So eat, there's two elements, they're all the same. Uh, the two elements are the same. The um, the next thing you'll do is you'll assemble, you'll assemble right here. Uh, this is going to be for uh, uh, 10 meters, and 15 meters. So the lower, the upper end, excuse me, the upper end of the H amp band. So I'm not going to sit here and, and show you every step on how to do this. It's very simple. 16, mil, 16 centimeters is what you need uh, to make the connections. So, once you've done that, you're going to measure uh, 55 millimeters out here for this A wire. For this A wire, you're going to measure 55 millimeters. You're going to put it through, just like so, and then you're going to bend it back, and you're going to bind it with this binding wire. So, anyway, that's how we assemble that right here. Uh, when you put these uh, elements on, make sure you verify with your chart, um, like A, B, C, with a tuning. And then at the end, at the end on the, uh, the end of the last wire, and like this one, this one right here. And again, this is a real rat, this could be a real rat's nest here. But anyway, you are gonna measure for the insulators. When you install the insulators, you want to have the end wire is something that you can use for tuning. The end wire is something you can use for tuning. And so what you're going to do for the tuning for the tuning ends of the last wire of the end of the wires is you're going to take and measure out 55 centimeters. 55 centimeters. You're going to do a little loop knot right here. Come back. Take this binding wire. And this binding wire is going to be pulled back here about five centimeters. So this is 
This is where we're gonna put our, uh, our, um, our rope right here. We're gonna put our rope and lap, lap, uh, lash it through here. Then this is gonna be uh, our tuning wire. And this is gonna be the same, the, you're gonna do the same procedure for all these elements. So you're gonna have four insulators and four tuning wires at the end. So that's kind of, that's kind of the big layout. So I'm going ahead and put it all together. Um, it's, it seems very straightforward. Just, uh, it's a lot of wires. You're going to have a lot of wires. You're going to have a lot of wires and a lot of things just getting in the, just uh, milling around. So get yourself organized, get yourself organized, and uh, we'll get this put together and let you know how it performs. You're going to take, you're going to take and loop the wires, measure out, uh, again, you're going to measure out here, this is 20, you're going to measure out 20, just like so, measure out 20. Like so, and then you can take some binding wire and put about it, around it. Okay, now that we've we've installed it, we've got everything installed here, and I know the manual says about this binding wires that you can bind them together. But if you're going to make a big X, if you're going to make like a big X, uh, what I call the V inverted V, these these right here are going to be going up, and these are going to be going down. So it's going to be like a big X. So it's a V inverted V. And so you want to, uh, I think, uh, use the binding wire separately so that you can get these angles right here. So you can get these angles like a big X. Anyway, I hope that uh, uh, I hope this helps you out. Uh, it's a great antenna. I hear nothing but great reports on this. Uh, again, if you need uh, to contact me, it's uh, w6gps at yahoo.com.